Hello there, welcome to Craft with Fee. Today we're doing another project in the Windy Days Stitch Along and this one is going to be for a sewer's chatelain. So it's a uh, sewing measuring tape type thing with a pin cushion and scissors that you can hang around your neck when you're doing your sewing projects. So I've chosen uh, one of the fat eights from the Tilda Windy Days range. This one here, the print's called Wendy. I think this is the coral. Um, I've got two squares that I've cut which are three inches square for the little pin cushion on one end and then we've also got three strips here by the length of the uh, fat eighth which is about 22 inches uh, and they're two inches wide so we've got the three of those. So what we're going to do is we're going to join these two inch strips together end to end so the first two together like so and then we'll sew the other one on the other end here so we've got one great big long strip. So we'll do that and then we'll come back. Okay, so once you have it all sewn together, you can iron out the seams so that they are nice and flat like that. Okay, and then we're going to turn over with the iron. So take this over to the ironing board and turn over one side by about a quarter of an inch or a bit more. And then we're going to get the other side and fold that over as well around about the same so that they meet. So we're going to iron it all nice and flat. Now while you're at the ironing board, you can take over a measuring tape. So we've got one of these plastic style measuring tapes. Now when you take them out of the packaging, they're always curled up um, and they're very hard to work with. If you get a couple of layers of fabric and lay over this, you can gently iron it and make it nice and flat and pliable. And that's what we need for this project. So take that with you. Just be very careful that you don't uh, put the iron directly onto the plastic. You need to have a couple of layers of fabric between that and um, the tape, the iron and the tape, and then you'll be fine. So do all of that at the ironing board, and then we'll come back. Okay, so now you sh should have something which looks like this. And you can see on my board here that it is about an inch in width. So it's probably half an inch that we're turning over on each side to get down to that one inch. Uh, but you'll, you'll sort of be able to feel it as long as it's wide enough for you to be able to sew your measuring tape down onto it. Okay, so we're going to take those two three inch squares and we're going to stitch all the way around but leave a little opening here for turning. And then we're going to take a pair of scissors and just we're going to snip off those little corners there away from the stitching. I like to put my nail, my fingernail over the stitching so that I'm protecting it and then I know that I'm not snipping it. So we're just going to do that and then we're just going to turn it around to the wrong, to the right side. I was going to say the wrong side, but this is to the right side. I'm going to use a paintbrush just to poke those corners out. I'm then going to take it over to the sewing, to the uh, iron and I'm going to give it a nice little press. Oops, I've just popped my, my, um, paintbrush through the corner so I'll have to be careful when I'm stuffing that but it'll be fine. Okay so I need to be a bit more gentle there Fee. Right so poke out those corners and then you'll have your little opening here. So now you can take it and stuff it. So pop some stuffing in there. Once you've got your stuffing in there you can then uh, pop the end of the fabric strip here into the pin cushion and then you can sew straight across here. Okay, and there we have it. We have our little pin cushion attached on one end there that you can see. Okay, so we're going to take this measuring tape and you can see here where the 60 um, inches is. So you have one side of the measuring tape usually that is inches only. Then you have the other side which is metric and imperial. So you'll have the metric down here and then the imperial up the top there. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to slice this off. So we're going to slice it off at about there. Okay, so that you've got a nice neat end. Then we're going to go along to the other end here and we're going to leave that piece of brass on there. I mean, you can take it off, but I actually quite like the look of it. And we are going to start here at the pin cushion and we are going to sew. So I'm not actually going to pin this because if you pin it, you're going to damage it. So you can get your clips and you can clip as you go and you want your measuring tape to be covering up your folded edges there. Okay, so then you're going to sew all the way down one side of the measuring tape and then you're going to go back and you're going to sew down the other side until you get 
right to the other end here. Now when you get to the other end, you are going to have a heap of fabric left over. Don't worry about that at this point. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that next. Okay, and there we go. Look, it's all sewn down. You've got this beautiful little measuring tape now on your shuttleline. So what we've got left on the other end is a, a raw bit. And we've also going to put a, a pair of scissors on there. So I've got these scissors. Now we do sell these in the store. These are fantastic little snippy snips. Do you know what? They're only $4 a pair. I mean, how cheap is that? This would make a perfect uh, gift for your sewing friends for Christmas. It's not too late to start sewing stuff for Christmas. We also have these measuring tapes uh, in the store for $2 as well. So for $6, you're going to be able to have your bits and pieces ready to make another shuttle in if you need to. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to fold over the raw edge by about half an inch. We are then going to pop that through our scissors and then we are going to match it up with the remaining bit. Now you just need to make sure that you have got it on the right side. So we have, we have got it on the right side there. And we're going to take a button. And I'm just going to straighten my bit up there because it was a bit crooked. I don't want it crooked. I want it nice and neat. So we're taking a button that coordinates. If you bought one of the uh, stitch along boxes, you will have a gorgeous packet of buttons in there that I gave you as a gift. And they match the Windy Days fabric perfectly. So you should be able to find something in there that will coordinate. So we're going to go between the two layers with our knot so that we're hiding our little knot. We don't want our knot to be on the back because you will also see the back when you use the shuttleline. And so we're just going to stitch that button on. So the idea of a shuttleline is that you can have it around your neck when you're doing your sewing projects. So you've got a pin cushion handy, you've got your scissors handy, and you've also got a measuring tape handy. So they're a really lovely little gift. I have a very special one made by a friend who's no longer with us, uh, and that's where I got the idea from. So, uh, yeah, make, they make a great, great gift, I treasure mine. And this one here will be going to another gorgeous sewing friend. So, all good. Right, so I've just gone through there a few times with my needle and cotton. I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to hand sew it. Now, the other option is that you can leave the button off and you can actually just machine sew across if you want to. Um, that's up to you. You can pop any little embellishments on it that you want. But we're doing the plain and simple version here today. Okay, so that is it, my friends. So you have your scissors on one end, your measuring tape all the way through the middle, and then you have your little pin cushion on the other end ready for you to use. So I hope that you give this a go, and I hope that you've enjoyed today's project. I'll be back next week with another project for you. See you then. Bye.